Hey guys, so I'm in my warm winter robe because we're going to be discussing the Sephora Frosted Kisses palette. So it makes me think of cold weather and hot chocolate. So I'm nice and cozy. So I thought that I would sit down and go over this gift set with you, do swatches of this collection and let you know my thoughts. So if you guys would like to see that, then just keep watching. Okay, so this is the Sephora Frosted Kisses Lip Stories set. You get six lipsticks in total, and according to the back of this, you get a bright and festive lips to take you through the holiday season, nude meets radiant gold, red, deep purple, and even holographic blue in a set that has something for everyone and every look. So let's dive right in and see what they look like. Right off the bat, I'm loving this one. Look at this little puppy, isn't he cute? We used to have a black lab named Millie. So cute, there's like a winter wonderland picture. This one looks like it's like evergreens covered in snow. This one, I don't know what this one is. Maybe like warm feet by the fire, sweater, and ice skating, which personally I don't have the ankles for ice skating, never have. So let's dive in and just start with swatches and see what we're working with here. This first one is ice dancing and it is a cream, which is probably my favorite formula in the lip stories. This one's like a kind of like a berry pink shade. And yes, I will do lip swatches, hang tight. Next up, we have this burgundy one. This one is called Sweater Weather, and it is a matte. Like a plum berry shade. This yellow one that I wasn't sure about, Campfire Cutie. So yes, they are people warming their feet by the fire. And this one looks like a metal, ooh. A nice gold glitter. This beautiful snowy tree. Lipstick is called Cabin Fever and it is a matte red. This beautiful like sunsetty pink one is called Winter Blizzard. Ooh. This one is a metal and this one looks like that holographic one they were talking about. It looks white on in the stick, but it looks like pinky purple on the skin. And finally, we have this cute little puppy. This one is Snow Day, and this one is another matte. This one is a brown. Is this one a matte? It says matte, but it's looking more like a cream finish on my arm. And yes, my hair is different. I'm using the Cara Color Clenditioners again. I'm using the Mocha. The red and the copper, I want to get back to that like auburn brownish red color that I had last winter. I really loved it. And unfortunately it took a turn for the pink before it turned brown because I forgot how strong the red color is. Okay, I'm going to start with 36, the ice dancing one. Oh, I like that. Here's ice dancing. Next up, number 23, Cabin Fever. Cabin Fever. This one's a nice warm with just a hint of blue, a little hint of like brown to it. It's like a nice grounded red. Next up we have number 31, which is Sweater Weather. go for berries but I kind of like this one maybe as like a brunette I can go with more berry tones so here's sweater weather next we have that deep brown this one is snow day Okay, really bad application, but here's Snow Day, the deep brown. I think this looks more like a cream than a matte. Okay. Now we're moving on to the metal shades. This one is Campfire Cutie number 71, the gold one that I think would look amazing on deeper skin tones. Kind of matches my eye makeup today. 
So here is a 71 Campfire Cutie. Once the glitter goes on, it doesn't come off. <laughs> and finally, we have number 69, which is Winter Blizzard, this pretty holographic one. Which I feel like I have another one that's very similar in my collection. I'll pull it out in a second. So here's Winter Blizzard. It's probably gonna be a lip topper for me and not a standalone lip color. It kind of makes my teeth look very yellow. Not what you want, but let me go find the other one to compare it to. Okay, the one that I would, com would compare this one to from their regular collection is also number 69. But this one's called Work It. Do they make the same lipstick and call it two different things? I think they did. Okay, so this is the one from the holiday collection. This is the one from the regular collection. They're both number 69 and they look identical. So if you already have number 69 from their regular collection, which was called Work It, you don't really need to pick up the gift set for this one. Let me see if any of the other ones are the same shade as other ones I already have. Okay, I also have 23 from the regular collection, which is called After Hours, which is a matte red. And the one from the holiday collection, which is number 23, is also a matte red. Well, look at that. They're just repackaging colors that they already have in their collection, naming them something else, and saying they're a holiday color. I think that's a little deceptive. Does it say if they are brand new shades? Okay, so it doesn't say that they are new shades. They're just new names. On the back of the packaging, it does say number 69 is Work It. On the back of the store, back of the packaging, it does say that number 58 is Butt First Coffee, which I featured in an earlier video. It does say that number 23 is After Hours. So they just renamed lipsticks that they already have in their collection with holiday themed names. So I think that's, I don't know. I think that's deceiving because it doesn't say that anywhere on the package. It doesn't say like renamed or rebranded or fun holiday packaging. It makes you think that they are new colors and new makes you think that they are new when essentially they are not. So I like the formula of the lip stories. I like the colors of the lip stories. I like the price of the lip stories, $8 a piece. Um, and I do think that a gift set like this is fun if you don't own any, but knowing that these are colors that are already existing is a little disappointing. I was hoping that these were new, like limited edition holiday shades. But all in all, I like the lipsticks. I think it is a nice gift set for someone that likes Sephora lip stories or lip products in general. So that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing swatches of this gift set. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.